Hey guys, it's Wrestling Mayhem Show 3.30, and on this episode, we talk with the world's strongest redneck, Steve McGranahan. We talk a bit about Raw 1000 last night. Did it Did it deliver, guys? Who's coming and going in TNA? And we're about touting. Are we going to be sick of it yet? All that and more here, Mayhem Show. Parental discretion is advised. Hey Mayhemers, it's Wrestling Mayhem Show 3.30 and we got an exciting one lined up for you guys. Uh, we're going to have Steve McGranahan, the world's strongest redneck, on the show shortly. And uh, we're going to test Chachi's manhood right here. Right, Chachi? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, Chachi? Yep. Chachi is on the couch. I am on the couch. There he is, right here in studio. In studio. Where he's going to have a guest beside him here shortly. Yeah. Yes, you are. Answer coin to begin. He's, a big, he's a big guy. He's a big dude. <laughs> he is a pretty big dude. You're the one you got to sit the closest. Yeah, I know. Uh, and also with us is Wheels. Joining hey, us. Hey, what's up, everybody? Well, I'm not in studio, but I'm close enough to him that I feel safe. You feel safe. <laughs> you're like you're like a county away. <laughs> exactly. Safe enough. Excellent. <laughs> and a little bit closer. Ah, he's a little out there. Also, within within uh, outside throwing distance is the Riz. In honor of the world's strongest redneck, I'm about to bend this dollar. <laughs> <laughs> bend? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Oh, get, it. Get, ah. it. get it! Get it! Ah. Get it! There you yeah. go. There you go. And also coming at us from Suck Johnstown, it. PA, <laughs> well out of distance is Bobby well, Update Town. I'm putting it in my uh, I wonder if he can stop flood water. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Don't get, you don't ask him. <laughs> I got I a chai latte this week. I feel like an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Good Jay, for you. Jehovah said he reminded him of a redneck juggernaut. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. awesome. Yeah. This is, of course, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can find us at WrestlingMayhemShow.com and links to a lot of our hijinks, including great articles by Mad Mike, WrestleFan, and DJ Lunchbox, usually weekly. Um... And, hey, we're also on iTunes, Blip TV, Roku, and Stitcher uh, in audio and video forms for this show, depending on how you found us. Uh, please comment, rate us, share us with your friends if you are digging this show or if you just dig the uh, the interviews we do. Just, uh, hey, let the people know about it so we can grow the Mayhem Nation. And uh, go, you can drop us a line and let us know what you think about what goes on in this show. If you agree with us, disagree with us, stuff you think we should do with the show at... Good time! That's good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, or you can chop wow, a line. That, up that was good. really good yeah. for a Skype lag. That's that was really impressive. Boom. Or you can chop a line to our hotline at 412-206-WMS0. That's 9670. And, of course, if you drop a dollar ninety nine on the iOS App Store or the Amazon App Store. Uh, I just dropped it. There you just go. dropped it. Dropped it and picked it up again and then bent it in half. Like you can check out our Mayhem <laughs> Show app <laughs> where you can get all know, the... I don't want to bend my iPhone. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Hold know, on. You know, exactly. We have to uh, disclaim that we are not encouraging you to bend your phone. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't think Apple Care will cover that well, or whatever else you got going on. on the app. Yes. Unless you're you a can. robot in the future named Bender. There you go. Download the app. There's links to all that stuff to get a hold of us on the, the Facebook, show, on the Twitter, the show, on the, the website. It, if you forget Twitter. our number or email, it's all linked there as well. As it's well as all in exclusive the app. content, including the post interview, what happened here with uh, uh, on there on WMS Gold. Uh, I'm not Shachi. Um, so go check that out, please, and support the mayhem. Let's get right into it with a bit of fan interactions, guys. We have an email. We're going to get a lot of media this week from somebody from the show. <laughs> so we'll get with that. Well, you know, first of all, I had um, I, I like to peruse the online stuff. A lot of great stuff, of course, happening in our open group on Facebook for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, Riz, you had a great comment. Last night, Raw 1000, of course, was there. Last night, it felt like WWE was in our heads and showing us everything that we wanted to come from mm-hmm. a, a show like this. Oh, and I marked for the choppy choppy your PP line. Your response? I, I, I kind of called it. You, you did. You did. You completely I did. Called it. I did. But it seemed like every time we did something, we said something that we thought was going to happen, shit happened. And most of the stuff was pretty off the wall, too. Yeah, right? we were like, you know, what happened to the hand? Yeah. 
That and was an ant showed up. And, hey, all props, all props to Justin Plummer on that one though, because he had it up on the Facebook group. God, uh, who's who's up? Wheels. Oh, speaking of the hand thing, I mean, I I was in the hangout last night, and I know a lot of you guys are like, "What in the world are you going off about?" And I'm laughing hysterically because Derek calls me and he's like, "Tell me that I did not just see May Young's hand all grown up. He has not watched Raw for I don't know how long. He finally decided to turn it on, and he turns it on to May Young's hand." Exactly. And exactly. I laughed my butt off because he just was going nuts. And there, here's a little clip from Talent actually that Caitlin put up there. So there he is in the hallway. It looks like they're lining up to do the clip. So he should be a regular character now. He should be exactly. Just the <laughs> hand's gonna pop up, you know. And, and they really and they really did yeah. address things that were like if you you wouldn't even know like how many people that haven't watched Raw for more than the last five seven years. Have no idea what that's a reference to. Even in the intro, the choppy pee pee thing came up, <laughs> which made Riz mark out. Oh yes, yep. and I think it made half of us and, mark out actually. But and Funaki but still. saying indeed, exactly. I remember that, and I was like, what? Like they. By the sh- way, I have only one cr- like bad thing about the whole May Young hand thing. Okay, what color was the father? <laughs> what? What color yeah, was the father? All I gotta say uh, is recessive dreams, uh, re- recessive genes, uh, and and we'll, we'll that boy should have been there. mixed. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was a nice, like you know, May canned Young configuration of that. I think yeah. um, <laughs> May Young is a tough woman, and I think her genes are just as tough for his for her old old white lady jeans. All right, all right, with that, uh, let's go to uh, if it's you want to join jeans. if you want to join such awesome conversations like this, please drop by our uh, Facebook Opa group and uh, like I said, we're on Google Plus, we're on Facebook. We have a lot of conversation <laughs> happening there too now. Uh, so Mad Mike has a raw raw 1000 Mad Mike now. Even though we're going to hear from him no less than two more times in this broadcast. <laughs> Uh, what are you? Are you doing? Doing? <laughs> Levi's old, li- old white lady jeans. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't go. Don't up. Google old white lady jeans. <laughs> oh, 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 no. not, not. All right. Anyways, this email here. We have a fantastic <laughs> email. I'm going to read now and forget about white lady jeans. Um, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost Bobby. We lost Bobby. Uh, hey guys, I wanted to uh, mail in sort of a fun prediction email before Raw tonight and also have a special message th- for Dixie Carter for the minute this week. So I needed to address Raw. Uh, aside from Poughkeepsie being the city that was held the second most Raws ever, what was the first? Um, uh, what was it? There's a great infographic that came up uh, yeah. on Facebook uh, that was being passed sure. around that, ha- that had all these facts. And what was the uh, first? Uh, New York? Keep going and I'll find it. Keep going. Okay, all right. Um... Keep going. I have broken down what I think will happen tonight. Um, and what I'd like to happen. Feel free to mock how wrong I probably will be. Oh, we'll see. Uh, what I want to happen. Undertaker interferes in the WWE title match, leading to Cena Taker at Mania. Nope. What nope. I don't want to happen. Rock interfering, interfering leading to Rock Cena 2 or Rock Punk. Yeah, you, kinda, you got that. Kind of got that one a little kinda, bit. Kind of, maybe, maybe. Uh, what I think will happen, Big Show interferes leading to the triple threat for SummerSlam. We'll see where it leads, but you got your yeah. Big Show wish. Um, what I want to happen, to avoid a lawsuit, Triple H makes Heyman the GM of Raw and SmackDown. Nope. Ooh, what I don't that. want to happen is GM announcement having anything to do with Teddy Long. Tag nope. team, <laughs> tag team player. What I think will happy, uh-huh. happen, Teddy Long and Mick Foley will be named the GMs. Nope. Nope. You get that right. Oh, yeah, I mean, nope. 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 Wrong. Uh, what do I want to happen? Karma will make a surprise return and destroy Layla. Oh. What I don't want to happen, Randy Orton comes back to RKO Ziggler. In St. Oh. Louis, there was no Randy Orton. Well, yeah, think that's about that. right there. Uh, what I think will happen, Wade Barrett will come back and attack Sheamus. Nope. Sadly, no. Nope. Uh, all wrong on all three. <laughs> what I want to happen, Stone Cold stuns Heath Slater. Nope. What nope. I nope. don't want to happen, all previous legends plus the ones from <laughs> Legends House squash <laughs> Heath Slater. Oh, uh, that wasn't the poor, Legends poor House. What I think <laughs> will happen, see above. Uh, what would be amazing if it happened, Max Moon squashes Heath Slater. Was Max He's kind of close. Referenced? 
Oh, he was by me. Moon? Yeah, oh. yeah. Uh, what I want to happen, New Age Outlaws and Xbox join Triple H and HBK in the DX reunion. Yes, it happened. It. What I don't want to happen, China. Anything to do with China, that. or Tori for that matter. Oh, what will, well, where was Tori? What will probably happen, dick jokes and hornswoggle. Oh, you're yeah, right. This is what I want. Happen. You got what you wanted, man. Those are my predictions. Hope you all enjoyed oh, the thousandth raw dick white jokes. alchemist ending transmission. Sorry, Riz. Found it. Okay. New York. New York has forty raws. Okay, that makes sense. Who yeah, actually, has actually, that makes sense because didn't the first uh, like maybe year of raw all happened at the Manhattan Center? Yeah. Yeah. So like it was a weekly thing. Yep. So. Excellent, excellent. Because that's when they were, so were that's when they weren't doing so good. So they just like just boiled it down to one location. <laughs> so, <laughs> early raw days. Exactly. Lots I've of heard raw. That before, lots of wrong, they say. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got a, a few other media happenings. A few people called in the hotline. I think that's all we have for the email unless they snuck in there. Uh we got one from Bo Diggity. Bo fucking diggity. With lots of dick jokes and horn swaggles. Alright, this doesn't work. Why didn't this thing work? Your face doesn't work, sir. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, this should be working. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Hey, it worked when I clicked it. I know it worked when you Broke did it. it. Wait, that's not even up. All right, I want to somebody fill for a moment. Fill there. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do this a different way, guys. Sorry about that. Wait, what are you doing? Wait. What are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. What are we talking about? We're talking about emails, sir. Oh. Or voicemails. Steve. 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 Sorry. Give me one moment, I have a come up. I'm sorry, the computer failed. I want to read the translation. Do you want to wait the way? No, no, we're not on that one. No, 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 we're not on that one yet. We're not on that one yet. I thought there was another I thought we had another translation. Uh, I don't think that was the one you guys were talking about. Yeah, it was. It, it was. It was the uh, newer of the Mad Mike ones. All right, here we are. Maybe, maybe. Sorry oh. for the stall. Phil. 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 You got Phil. About, about as much sense as a, a boot, a snake in a boot. Phil. It's my Doctor Phil impression. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? I am gonna punch you in your Dr. face, Phil. Bobby. Don't pee Bobby, on my leg and tell me it's raining. That's just <laughs> Dr. Phil. Bobby, move the pitch. You said to Phil. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're completely failing on technology don't, here, guys. Don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. <laughs> what the fuck is that, Bobby? <laughs> Bobby's watching a lot of daytime TV. That's what's going on. Why, why are you watching daytime TV? Why are you watching Dr. You Phil? You are not the father. <laughs> At least you're watching Mari. Mari. You're not the father. At least you're watching Mari. It's more than I can say for rest of the world. Hold on. quick phone call for you kids. Segment number one. Amateur eating food. Celery. It's delicious when you pair it with peanut butter or ranch dressing. Especially delicious when you eat two whole things of it. Second, my thoughts on Raw 1000. Female me is a GM. That'll be cool for like two months. Okay. Then I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away on top. Also, okay. The Rock just gets a random title shot at Royal Rumble. Not, not liking that. No. I think we can slide that off to the side and just assume that they're trying to put as many people into the Royal Rumble as humanly possible. So they don't have to waste a solid up-and-coming guy on a title shot at the Royal Rumble when they can put him in the Rumble and make it that much more exciting. CM Punk, quote-unquote, heel turn. I love it. I want him to come out on Monday, next Monday. And say, listen. Oh, a second. I got, I got the better one. Listen, I'm sick of being the WWE champion and getting overlooked for some stupid angle between Cena and Show. I don't give a shit about that. I am the WWE champion. Show me some fucking respect. I want him to say fucking too. I want it. That'd be I nice. I want it so bad, Pop. Say that. Drop that F bomb. Let the kids know. That there are other words in the world like fucking, which makes the, all of your conversations better. Yeah, educate the kids. <laughs> 
Twins Fuck back. yeah. Bo Diggy hey, as, <laughs> as usual, Bo Diggy. Also, oh, oh, is that done? Swerves. Wow. We all saw it coming. So, dear WWE, you want to swerve me on a wedding next time? Have that shit actually happen. <laughs> it was like, I now put out your man and wife. And everybody goes, where's the swerve? Where's the swerve? Swerve? You actually had it happen. Ta-da. <laughs> Number four. Okay. Undertaker. You can go the fuck away again. That would be great. Like, just show the fuck up in, like, mm, in January. And do your WrestleMania thing. I'll be mad at you again. We'll go through the sh- shenanigans again. Then you can retire and I never have to see your dumb ass again. Thank you. <laughs> Number five. Yeah, oh, so I would yeah, really five. like that, like, mid-card jumping of Kane to be an actual thing. Like, I want, like, Drew McIntyre to have shit to do again. That would be awesome. And that's jumping really Kane. really appreciate that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, man. Those are my thoughts on Raw. And if you don't like them, fuck you. Because this fuck has been my new segment. Shut the fuck up. Bo Diggy's talking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Chachi, right, you had something to say. First off, uh, I have to applaud uh, Bo Diggy for the best segment name yet on the show. Shut the fuck up with yes. Bo Diggity? Yes, my, my new favorite part of the show is uh, Shut the Fuck Up with Bo Diggity. <laughs> and he's right. Fucking does increase... Uh, the excellency of your conversation. What yes, it fucking wrestling? does. Zero <laughs> said that dignity is like a high Teddy Hart. <laughs> 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 All right, and with that, we do have a couple other voicemails here that or, or, just or wait. Hart. What? Wait, I'm going to read one of the voicemails. No, 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 no. Which one are you doing? I have an order. No, you don't. No, you don't either. have an yeah, order. Have there an is order. a document. <laughs> there isn't a document. There is, there is a there document. Is. I never received a document. He sent like I Monday. received a document. Okay. I received a document. <laughs> the next one. So I guess Shane Chuck says it no matter where you are on the card, if you steal the show, you are the main event. I agree. Damn Thank straight. you. That's right. All right. Um, all right. What are you reading here? I'm not reading anything. You Good. have an order. Good. Fuck you. No, fuck you. <laughs> All right, here we go. I quit. One from Big Freaky. Recently Shut up. Recently this week on my vacation to Pagan Land, I, uh, I was on Mad Dog Radio. Good for you. Isn't that and a, I a hosted serious an show, incredible isn't it? show. Um, I had the esteemed seer Diane Paxton on. Okay. I was going to have Ginger Doss on, but... Either she was call? doing something else or just couldn't find the place in the middle of the typhoon that opened up. Uh, I broke a chair and fell backwards and possibly have an undiagnosed concussion. I think it gets to wrestling here. And I found See, it on the, the glory of professional wrestling. Most yeah. uh, directly ring of honor. And I have to give you credit for something, Sorg. You do a whole lot. I mean, you man the board, you, you, uh, you troubleshoot, you have a full plate on your hands, my friend. So for doing that every week and not having major catastrophes befall you, I salute you. You don't know what happens off air. However, Chachi. Oh, uh, fuck you. Because my chakras are in balance now. Doesn't mean I forgot about all your shit talking. You were shit talking. I heard about you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Anytime you want to test about me, you. son. Oh. I'll come up to Sword's house. Why my oh, place? Wait, why? <laughs> That's where he leaves it. Chachi, rebuttal. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not wasting my time on that. All right. That was a threat. <laughs> yeah, what's a threat? He threatened uh, it's me. The internet. It's the internet. Hey, uh, we did have you, a bodyguard. Did you now? You, this is the one you wanted to read the the uh, Google translation. Do you want to do that before or after the actual voicemail? <laughs> before. Before. <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> so we received an email that says <laughs> we get a, a voicemail from Mad Mike. It says, "Hey, Jasmine, like here." <laughs> I realize I've got the put something in and the minute this weekend, and I was running a bit long. Anyway, book flock. Anyone, anyone, anyone who toes seriously, that should ridiculous, that is ridiculous, to help should be a saying like, saying it like video, 
ATT. <laughs> it's awful. Everyone stop touting I. Lead time you were see meet the career 100%, which artsy, artsy and probably actually just on the verge with meeting with them. It, <laughs> <laughs> it might meet. His opinion on. So, but for skew, anyone whose house film forward, we asked them, <laughs> we asked them to did every single one of your out sick usually gets. In case the nobody gets okay, just should take in the thanks for using out and the neck source. I see who uses how much wood of time on getting on the phone. I don't really care. You are and what you have really good. All right, peace. It just. All right, and that translates hey, to. And then, like here, um, I realized I forgot to put something into the minute this week, and I know it was running a bit long anyway. But fuck anyone who touts. Seriously, that shit was ridiculous. That makes a lot more it's sense. Ridiculous. Tout should never be a thing. It's like video ADD. It's awful. <laughs> Everyone stop fucking touting. I, the only time you will see me agree 100% with Chachi and probably actually just by the virtue of me agreeing with him, it might make his opinion on tout. Nope. But fuck anyone who touts. Fuck them hard in the ass. I'm going to give every single one of you a fucking tout kick. Usually give taint kicks, but now I'm going to give tout kicks. Because you should be kicked in the tank for using tout. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and yeah, the next person I see who uses tout on my Twitter timeline is getting you unfollowed. Well, I don't really care who you are unless you have really big tips. All right, peace. So he's definitely unfollowing me. Okay, and, all okay. Right. Yeah. I would just like to applaud Google for doing an amazing job translating that voicemail. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. And Thank I you, would Jasmine. like to follow up that uh, voicemail by showing a tout that was sent to the Mayhem I show. I hate you. Hey. No, no. Thank you, Jasmine. Oh. oh, no thanks. Thanks, Jasmine. What I learned in wrestling this week is that I'm using tout to send this in because I've got 15 seconds of nothing better to do, and Bobby F FJ Town is right. These are going to pop up for the interviews. Yeah! Oh, that's There right. you go. There you go. Hey. What, what's that, Bobby? I said that last week. Yeah? I remember now. <laughs> I wonder I why you named me in tout. We've been having fun with tout the last week. I've received We've been a blast. so many fucking touts. Yeah. So how many people touted you this week? <laughs> I touted you a lot. Different people? <laughs> yeah. Ten? Ten people touted you? <laughs> <laughs> and then you? And me? Touting me every other tweet? Yes. <laughs> That's about right. That's about right. And I do have to say that I did watch them all. Wow! Yeah, nice. I, like I'll watch them. Nice. I'm not Are you any. entertained by these? Uh, some of them, yes. Okay. Are you not entertained? Are you not uh, entertained by the touts of the people's good sir? I am gonna punch you all in the face. Russell fans touts are entertained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are actually. I am gonna dick punch all of you. You know, you, you ask yeah. ask at DJ Lunchbox questions. That's fun. I am not touting. <laughs> you should tout. I'm not. I think I think tout is the perfect platform for you. I think your well, mother well, is the did. perfect platform for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry, she is a very nice lady. <laughs> Look at that face. Uh, sword face. I'm sorry. This is sword. Sword is I got I got carried Bullshit. away. I'm sorry. Your, your mother is a very nice lady. <laughs> Don't pee on my leg. That's a I'm face only a top could love. No, she is a very nice lady. Don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. <laughs> All right, and with that... Holy, wait. What? Mark yeah, this on a calendar. What? Home. Mark this on a calendar. Mark what on the calendar? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Brace yourself. I'm not. Tout? Or, I mean, WrestleFan? Mad Mike and Chachi... All agree on the same thing, mm -hmm. and the the point about WrestleFan being right about you being agreeing on something makes it more fun to be on tout. <laughs> yes, yeah. so he can be pissed off. I am not touting. Tout. I I tout. I try not to use that word, like touting. I tout. In like my pants. yeah, I you don't I, want it to be a verb. Yeah, exactly. I touted it in my pants. You know what, Chachi? Tout it. 
Tell it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Wrestle, Tell it out Wrestle loud. Fan says he doesn't give a shit if what I do. T- fuck you. Fuck you, Wrestle Fan. Yeah, yeah. fuck no, you, man, Wrestle Fan. Tell. You'll never Tell. be as awesome as I am. You, Tim. End, of, end of story. Let it out loud. Uh, we are the Wrestle Wing Mayhem Show, and we tout it out loud. All right, move on. Well, uh, with WrestleFan out, uh, he didn't have time, unfortunately. I think it was a short notice thing um, for doing the Indie Minute video. So, therefore, we go to Chachi for the Indie Minute. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome to uh, this week's segment we like to call Amateur Falling Down or the Indie Minute. Uh, WrestleFan isn't here. So, we have to make some stuff up. Uh, there's a $5 wrestling eye pay-per-view this weekend. That's not made up. It, it yeah. costs $5. It's at www.nlive.net. WWN, www.nlive.com. Okay. Uh, Shane Storm kicked a guy in the head this weekend. <laughs> and ACW was cool. The 100th uh, uh, yeah, it show, Yeah, it was the 100th show. Uh, Wrestle fan should be here to tell us about it, but all but he has to say, bitch. all he has to say about it is that he has a piece of cinder block in his pocket from the show. ACW was cool, and if you're in the Pittsburgh region this weekend in White Oak on Saturday at seven o'clock, it is proving ground by our friends, IWC, IWCWrestling.com yes. for information on that. It is. It is all new guys. Well, not all new guys. Right. Um, no. Not also just the younger talent. Yes, younger talent and some older talent. Um, also, Except for Aiden Vale because he's out with a shoulder. Injury. Yeah, I want to say uh, a shout out to Aiden Vale. He is out with a shoulder in- injury and will not be on that show. I'm going to see if I can find the picture that's been up. Um, so, so, so good luck with him uh, on getting uh, recovered from that and hopefully back to action here real soon. Did Russell fan just say he's drunk? He's drunk. Yeah, no. Wrestle fans said that oh, ladder all the matches fans are drunk. That ladder matches are fun, especially when all the fans are drunk. Wrestle fan and John Fun has a gift that he was going to share with us. Uh, I'm hoping it's of Shane Storm kicking someone in the head. Wrestle fan, you're you're because I am hoping fetus. for something of that. Here's a picture that was on we, Facebook. We don't, of, we don't, uh, we do not condone I'm underage sure, drinking. I'm pretty sure Jason Gorey is about to eat Aiden Vale's face. Nice. Just, just put that down. Just I was going to uh, say, that so face kind of looks sadistic, and it looks like he might do something to him. Yeah. So, yeah. I am Chachi says, and this wait, has wait, been... Wait, Chachi! What? Two things from Johnstown in the Indie Minute this week. Okay. Did it flood? Phoenix Pro, Phoenix Pro Wrestling, July 28th in Evansburg, uh, Night of Legacy. It's not in Johnstown. Uh, and AON returned this week. I don't know any details about the show, but they're back. Oh, wait, there's a GIF in the chat room. I'm working on it. I'm watching yeah. it. <laughs> Is it someone so, getting kicked in the head? I hope it's someone yes. getting kicked in the head. <laughs> Is it someone getting kicked in the dick? Waiting for it to load. All right. You'll enjoy it, Chachi. I like watching getting p- people getting kicked in the head. We apologize for everybody on audio, but we're going to show an animated GIF, and there you go. Boom. 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 Is that a two? Let's just make everybody re- like <laughs> think of... Playing the wrestling games and just super kicking people constantly. Okay, okay now set it to dubstep. I would just like to say that is superb form on the kick to the head. I am Chachi says that is this week in amateur falling down or indie wrestling. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest right here in the studio. We don't get that too often anymore, but with us right now is. Steve McGranahan, he is the world's strongest redneck. What's up? How you doing tonight, sir? Oh, uh, everything's copacetic, man. That's awesome. Good. Awesome. Complain. Please don't hurt me. I'm not. <laughs> right. I'm already, I'm already eating for tonight. I'm good. <laughs> now, now you you're somebody uh, that that you we you came across us amazingly. Well, you had a table. Well, so we had a table. I mean, you, but you found us. Yeah, I didn't you throw found the us. Table, but we, yeah, we <laughs> now, now uh, we were we were at Pittsburgh Comic Con. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm a, at heart, I'm a geek nerd. Yeah, yeah you, you were some kind of you were you were rocking the tables. I kept running into you later in the day. No, you that's were, stalking. That's oh, I that's see. The I see. <laughs> some of those cat one. women. You know, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. but uh, but you you uh you introduced yourself and uh and and we. And, and here you are. Yeah. 
So, yeah. so tell us the, what, why are you the world's greatest net, or strongest net redneck? Why am I the world's strongest redneck? Yes. Because I was smart enough to buy the copyrights. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm a nerd and an entrepreneur. Yeah, no, um, I basically had a dream one night, come up with a straw man comedy act. So mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. I've pledged in it from there. So and uh, just take normal household objects and destroy them, and play around with people and have fun. You know, stop traffic, and do crazy stuff. Excellent. So now you have a lot of videos uh, up on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we about got 105, 103, something like that. Mm-hmm. And we got one here, lawnmower on a stick. Lawnmower on a stick, yeah. That's got about a million two on it right now. Mm-hmm. So that's pretty good. So uh, it, tell me a little bit about, you know, what are you, what are you doing in a lot of these videos? Uh, that's actually right off my front uh, side porch right there. I just, I hate that hedge right there. I want to take a <laughs> stick of dynamite and place it every like two and a half feet and just go, boom, 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 just dynamite it out of the ground i just i hate it it's those sticker things that you you know you reach in and you mm-hmm. just stick your hand and all that and you got to wear gloves when you put it in the garbage bag and all that so uh i just decided to spoof it one time and you know just said you know there's got to be an easy way to do this hedge without you know ripping it out of the ground with your teeth and uh so i said okay, let's put a lawnmower on a stick you know duct tape duct tape keeps the world together <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and believe it or not, it works. I mean, watch it work right now. I mean, it, it just laid it out smooth as glass. It was a, it was a thing of beauty. I was wow. actually flabbergasted <laughs> after it. Uh, people were like, why are you blowing it on you? Because it's funnier. <laughs> you know, it's funnier blowing on you. And I probably made about, oh, that's been on, I think, Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, it's been on a bunch of shows. So mm-hmm. it's uh, mm-hmm. it's got a lot of airtime. So you've been doing this for a while. Uh, I, 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 this is, and, and, and you know, obviously you say you've been on Jimmy Kimmel and stuff. Like, like uh, what, what? Well, all these videos have. Yeah, I've been yeah, on the Jay Leno have. twice. Yeah. Second one was Larry the Cable Guy. I think I was his illegitimate nephew, son, or something. I don't know how they did it. <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, it was during the writer strike, so they had to get some fools that, that crossed the picket <laughs> line, and so I went there. It was uh, February thirteenth during the writer strike, last day of the writer strike. Went on there and rolled up a frying pan, made a horseshoe heart, and been a wrench. So just, you know, have a bunch of fun. Excellent. And, uh, think? Oh, I've been on uh, CMT's Country Fried Home videos. Did uh, 50 shows on that. And uh, I'm just a, just a wild and crazy guy doing some cool stuff. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Here's a, looks like the phone book uh, video here. Yeah, I, I teach people how to rip phone books. She's an art teacher at YSU. Yeah, phone book ripping's a it's pretty good. There's like nine different ways to rip a phone book. Mm-hmm. So, so, so you'd say like some of, some of the stuff like that 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 you see like it's not just the muscle; it's a little bit of skill as well. Well, it, it's it's all in you know the functionality of how hard, strong mm-hmm. your hands are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, she's been working on her hands for a while. She. She flipped a 350 pound tire. I mean, she, we we have a really nice gym, and I got a great trainer who just throws it at us day in and day out, mm-hmm. and uh, we just get real strong. Have fun. Awesome, awesome. So, um, and I've been studying hand strength for about 12, 15 years. So I'm a master of hand strength. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my hand. <laughs> Um, I understand you brought some demonstration today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Basically, what I do is I just take these things and uh, have fun with them. Mm-hmm. Boom, somebody's got the window open. Or yeah, something. Somebody's got someone <laughs> driving by. Oh, nice. I, but I don't. I don't like. I like to make things like harder than they are, more difficult. People ask me all the time. They say, Steve. How you get so strong? And I go, well, I'm not a doctor or nothing, but uh, people lack aluminum in their diet. Don't try this at home, kids, okay? This is like redneck recycling. <laughs> oh, why do I know? For those stuff. on audio, he is chewing on a yeah. aluminum can. Oh, no, I still can't figure out why I'm waking up with holes in my underwear at night. But. <laughs> 
Um, my wife says when she turns the light out in the trailer, I illuminate like a double white angel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. uh, that's what I do. I just like to have some fun. And, uh, and he has a whole bag of toys. A plethora of like gag stuff, man. Here, here's some tape for you. Thanks. <laughs> but we're not allowed to <laughs> advertise on place. TV. You got to do one of them things. <laughs> no, it's the internet. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's the internet? <laughs> okay, here. No, but uh, no, I just take look, household objects and... Uh, like, dude. Oh, uh, applying yeah, duct tape yeah. around a phone. Around, yeah, because the phone book's so easy, you got to make it, you know, a little bit harder. Hey, why don't rednecks make good terrorists? Afraid of wasting <laughs> a good roll of duct tape. <laughs> 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 joke usually bombs. <laughs> right, you just take a roll of duct tape, wrap it around there. Then take the phone book. I'm sitting down, so here we go. Am I scaring you over there, Billy? No. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. It is. Wow. Uh, it's ripped. And hey, uh, it's, here, we'll just rip another one right here. It, it's right down the center. Yep. Oh, here we go. We can rip it right there, too. <laughs> Can't even rip folded paper. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all got souvenirs here. Yeah, right? I have. So fat redneck come by, ripped up my phone book. Now I got to use yellow pages <laughs> on the internet. But, it's okay, uh, we got the internet. Yeah, he there gave me a, a phone book in uh, three different pieces. Yeah, here, this is the easy way. Uh, this is a hard way of ripping a phone book. And for real, don't try this. I did it one time and I uh, pulled it back and I had teeth print on it right there and a little blood in the teeth print. So I, I still got it in my basement. I was like, man, that's cool. I'm keeping that. That's <laughs> That's got some DNA on it. Somebody find that one day and reproduce me. Yeah, you got one to hold on the uh, 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 DNA one. He's got uh, it in his teeth here. Uh, Whoa. Wow. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, he needs to feed it. Yeah. He grabbed the corner. That's cool the, right there. He grabbed that's, I've, I've never seen another. Look at that. That's insane. Just think if that was like in your arm or on your neck or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, the I'd, zombie, zombie, I'd make a wicked zombie, huh? You, you would. You would, I would like, some, like it would take like a bazooka to kill this much zombie. Yeah, <laughs> you would. You would destroy. You got teeth marks on that thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah no, this way, here, on the right, hold on, here. Oh, well. here. I'll give you half of it. There you okay. go. Okay. <laughs> Good. It's bite sized. There you um, go. Wow. There you go. Yeah, here's some more right there. <laughs> okay. Trust, you need to keep him happy. Oh, I, I, trust me, I am. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to see him rip you in half. <laughs> no, he's over here on his phone or something. I think he's being rude. He got, he got the ADD, daddy. He got the, the ADD. I do have the ADD. So uh, <laughs> that's what I do. Is just keep tearing stuff up. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Here, we'll do some more. You want to do some more? This, this, just here. You shot you next. <laughs> Actually, yeah, hold on. We're going to get Chachi to uh, test his manhood right now. Here, hold that now. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to fail this test. Can I miserably. be a superhero? Can Chachi be a superhero? Okay. Now, these are just regular leathers that the Amish guy who makes saddles up the road mm -hmm. let me have for a dollar each. They're going to make money. <laughs> but uh, it's just a little 60 penny nail. A lot of farmers go, that's not a nail, that's a spike. And I go, no, it's a, it's a nail. It's a snack, really. But we're rolling it up so Chachi don't hurt his fingers. Because he's got... Okay. Hey, because hey, I am... And try to come on, I am, I am delicate. Give it, Chachi, 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 Chachi. Up in the camera, up in the camera. Roll up to the camera. This is go not on. working. No on, camera dude. tricks. You're mad. I'm going to get this away. Is, this is not many, working. Just think how many ring girls are watching going, oh, This is kids. not working. That would be so no cool right now. Girls. Yeah, this is ring girls. not working. It's like a rose that takes a moment of the year. Yeah, no, I didn't even. Hold on. No, is there, no. Nope. no, it's, no, it's uh, safe. No, it's not even safe. slightly crooked. <laughs> not even. There you go. We don't even have to do a table roll for this no, one. No, no, it is. It is. Any of the mo molecules got discombobulated. <laughs> it is as straight as it was in the store. When it was made. Yeah. yeah. But I teach kids. I say what the nails do, and they go. They hold things together, and I go. That's what laws do, young boys and girls. <laughs> hold things together. There we go. Made it look easy, right? Yeah. 
Superhuman yeah. strength is fun. <laughs> Just think, I'm like nine times stronger than you. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> that is. Everybody Thank loves chocolate. <laughs> Catch a fish like that. Right, right. Yeah, more souvenirs. Hand it over to him. Man. That is uh, a lot better than I did. Yeah. <laughs> but go. that's what I do. There you go. There it is, right there. <laughs> that is, that's wow. Real. Yeah, this it, this that's was my real. introduction. That's your introduction. <laughs> that was my intro introduction to you at, uh, oh, at yeah? Comic Con. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I still have it in my computer bag, actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here, here we go. Here, Chachi. This one can be yours. Chachi gets a nail. That's a great movie there. Chachi gets a nail. All right, here we go. Here's the regular deck of cards. Okay? Regular deck of cards. Now, Chachi. Yeah. All right. I can read your mind, okay? Now, I want you to think of any card in the deck. It ain't got to be the Ace of Spades, but that's obvious. Or the Queen of Hearts for the girl. Think of any card in the deck. All right. You got it? Yep. Okay. You ready? Was that card ripped in half? <laughs> yes. There you go. Yes, it was. Look at how that is redneck amazing. street magic it right is. there. <laughs> redneck street magic. And if that wasn't good enough, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just rip it again. How about that? I know. It's really easy. It's like mind-boggling easy. Now. But there's a problem with that, though. There's a problem. And uh, I'm, I'm like a man with integrity, right? So I got to tell y'all the truth. Okay. I cheated. Oh. I cheated. I used both hands to rip that. Okay? I'm being honest. I'm being honest, okay? I both hands. All right, this time, I'm only going to use one hand. Okay? That just just to make the playing field easier. Okay? You ready? Right here, why? Oh. 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 <laughs> Now, could you imagine that getting is, in the ring with that much human being yeah. being able to do that? That was just like... That's why I hold the camera yeah. on the outside. And then you throw it up in the air and you walk in, ch -ch 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 -ch, music, you know, entourage and <laughs> confetti it, and all that. That's a good question. If you were yeah. a pro wrestler, yeah, what would your entrance music be? I got like three or four of them people have written it for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, uh, go to the one where the skunk, there's a little skunk walking around in a park. And we think he had rabies because he was out in the middle of the day, and that, usually skunks don't do it. But I got him. Some kid did a rap song, uh, World's Strongest Redneck. I could do that, or I had uh, two other people write songs for me. So that's that would be it. So I, I got my own band, baby. I got my own band with me. So here's the coup de gras right here. It's a frying pan. Okay. Oh, that's a real is. frying pan. Okay, Jeez. let's see if we can roll it. I've never rolled one sitting down before, so let's try it here. Okay, you ready? <laughs> is that so much my phone? There we go. Can I see it? A little higher there. There you go. There you go. There go. There go. <laughs> There you go, right there, Chachi. I'm thinking you, know how, you know how I came up with this idea right here? One day I was cooking a hot dog out on the fire outside of my trailer, <laughs> and a regular frying pan had rolled off into the fire. I got real mad. I burnt my hand, so I reached down into the fire, and I put it back on there, and it rolled across again. Rolled off the <laughs> frying pan. I got mad, and I rolled that thing up just like that. And I was going to sling it. That's redneck for throw it. <laughs> then all of a sudden, I had that epiphany moment where the clouds open up and the sunlight shined in my eyes. And I thought I heard angels singing. And it went like this. <laughs> and I looked down and I realized I invented the world's first redneck hot dog cooker. Reached down in the fire, put the hot dog in there, cooked it over the fire. Didn't fall out no more. See? <laughs> Told y'all I was smart, didn't he did. I? He did. 110 IQ. That was amazing. Oh, was that my weight at birth? Anyhow. <laughs> but here, you can have a hot dog cooked. Yeah, he don't have a hot dog cooked. I cookie, don't. So. Okay. That means you're more special. Not because you're sitting with me or nothing like that. But <laughs> don't be having no man crush right here. All right. 
That's fun. All right, here we go. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Uh, I want to put it out there in the chat room. If anybody has any questions for the Roll yeah, Stars, throw some Redneck, questions out, please man. toss them out there, guys. Yeah. Guys here on Skype, do you guys have any questions for our, for our guests here tonight? Um. Uh, <laughs> be nice now. This is a family friendly show. Bobby, Bobby's from over in Johnstown. Bob, Johnstown. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you invested in uh, skillet companies and nail companies, or do you just go out and buy the stuff? No, or? I just buy it wherever I'm, you know, at. I, there's like ten different frying pans I use. Do you own a patent on the on the red knot? Yeah. Excuse me, the red knot, red neck hot. No, nah, no, nah, not yet. It's just patents are real expensive, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like five thousand. Then you got to go ten thousand international. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I make a movie. He looks like he needs a hot dog cooker. So. I do. I'd like to get on Shark Tank and try to sell it. Would that be funny or what? <laughs> <laughs> that Desmond guy, he's like, uh, I like the idea. Can I have a bodyguard? You want to be my bodyguard? You know, probably. You never know what kind of gig you get out exactly. of. <laughs> exactly. They're all billionaires, so you know they could afford to throw some money. Yeah. All exactly. right, next question. Next Come question. On. Anybody else out there on Skype? When, when did you figure out that you had like superhuman I uh, picked up my first car when I was about 15 years old and that's <laughs> over, over your head or is no 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 it's a VW <laughs> rabbit this is a true story man the VW rabbit a guy named George was picking up 500 pound deadlift in the gym and I went George that's pretty strong right there bub and he was he was diesel he like had a ripped bicep that ain't really weird anyhow I hope he's still alive he's a great guy anyhow um I said, I, I bet you a dollar I can pick your car up. He goes, you're crazy. I go, well, you know, put a dollar out there. Because, I mean, that was back in the 80s, so that was a lot of money then. So I went out there, and I picked it up off the ground, put it back down, and he said, that's not that's not possible. I, I mean, you're only 15. You're a little punk kid. And I went, well, that's what I could do. So that's what I did. Took his dollar. From the chat room. Um, that's it. We got John Fun. And I think he might have just answered it there. He says, uh, how long have you been doing this again? Uh, I actually, uh, I started lifting things when I was about nine years old. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a weightlifting set, so I put bricks in between, or put a pipe in between bricks, and when the pipe would break, I'd get a bigger pipe and bigger bricks, and then so, my, we did uh, pulp wood. So we'd go out to Jimmy Mangum's house, because he was clearing it for a bunch of his land in Orange County. You can't write this stuff, it's funny. <laughs> And uh, they would roll the logs down the hill, and I'd pick the logs up out of the ditch and throw it on the trailer at about 10, 15, 10 12, 11 years old. And then uh, my favorite thing to do is split wood. I used to like to see how many times I could split it and all that. And this is crazy work because we didn't have video games and we right. grew up pretty poor. So, uh, Jay Hova asked, he says. He I was wondering if he could crush an apple with his bare hands, but I think yeah, I got my easy. answer. Yeah, so. <laughs> and uh, Zero 2K is asking, uh, have you had any accidents doing this? Yeah, actually, uh, this right here today. It's like a little, no, today? you can't kiss it. Make I it feel better. Wasn't going to. <laughs> Stop. Kiss it, Anyhow. Energy. And uh, no, that's from a license plate. I was at the oh. True Value store and I ripped the license plate for him and gaffed it myself. And that one's when I did that's a real long one there. You could like see the white membranes and that under the skin with that one. So, yeah, yeah, you have accidents. Oh, uh, um, the ladder. When I was doing the ladder video, I smashed my thumb, and this finger right hurt here hurt for about nine weeks. I mean, I must have really fractured something in it. Good. I couldn't pick my nose for a long time with it. So. <laughs> I think it, that's uh, looks like that's this video here. <laughs> Which one? The ladder? Oh, yeah. Oh, I hate looking at that video. You see how slow I get off the ground. Oh, I'm just like crawling off the ground going, okay, you got to finish it, man. You got to finish it. You got to be strong. Show must go on, And I'm right? sitting here, and all this five inches of hand was compacted in the ground about an inch and a half. It was just like caved in. Yeah, I was. Hey, yeah, we, we've seen wrestlers do this, but you're, you're a larger guy to be doing this. Yeah, 363. 360. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. How you like the flag blowing in the background, man? <laughs> Talk about patriotic stupidity. Oh! That's patriotic stupidity right there. The Japanese just bought that video. I'm not telling you how much they made, but it's probably more than you did in a month. Probably. probably. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese play real well for video. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, it's fun. I got a good manager. He gets top dollar. 
And now I just I was just looking at your site and I happened to come across this this uh, picture. Fat man. <laughs> <laughs> Why so, did they get a load of me? Oh, wrong guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Have you seen the new movie? No, not yet. Not yet. Um, um, I'll probably. I was actually going to go see it down here in Pittsburgh. You said not see it on the big screen. Not the the super big screen. Not the Omnimax. Yeah. Cause it, it's more of a fishbowl kind of thing. And it, oh, really? It's, it's yeah, not it's filmed hard to, it's, hard it's to interesting. The but I, if you're on, on a regular IMAX, I better look. If, when yeah. they when they do the actual scenes, like in IMAX, well, we're, we're actually really kind of boycotting that movie. I'm going to tell you a casting thing about that movie. We uh, the main lady who was casting, right? Mm. I like started bending still and. You know, and she was freaking out. Told her the best place in town to eat sushi, and I'm, I was like, "Man, well, I'm, I'm reeling this gig in, big boy, yeah." And uh, <laughs> we never got a call. Three of us went down there from the gym, and not one of us got a call. And we're all like stacked diesel dudes, man, and we were kind of upset. We, I, I understand that I wouldn't have been in there because. I would have dwarfed Bane. You know, I'm like, oh, hey, you little silly guy with the mask on. How are you? Are you really strong? Yeah. Uh, I was the one who threw the airplane and you were like zero gravity. You remember that? Remember that scene? Oh, Bane's reckoning. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I can understand that. But the other two guys, I mean, they were like right in there, gangster looking dudes. Didn't even call them nothing. They, uh, that was bad. One guy got fitted for a suit in uh, Tom Cruise's movie, and he couldn't fit into the 52 regular, so he didn't get in the movie. And he's like, oh, I hate this. It was in the dance scene when they were at the dance hall. Well, you got, you know, they got they got a cover for uh, Tom Cruise looking so small. Yeah, so, he's like a you know. petite human being, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That's so. what Katie said. I'm not gossiping. That's <laughs> just what Katie said. He's, <laughs> uh, Scientologist uh, little, I'm sorry. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. As John Fun says, at least he would have been a great extra. New Batman enemy, right there. Oh yeah, yeah. There we. Uh, I, I actually played Bane <laughs> in a Randy Rogan film. I think it was Bane. Uh, I was painted all white. That's Bane, right? Was I don't know. Bane? It could be Mister Freeze. I, I no, know. it wasn't Mister Freeze. Anyhow, be. it was. Uh, and I was slamming him against the. Uh, uh, what was it? It was a, um, it was either a dumpster or a transport, it was transport or something. And I was banging it. He was slamming his hand. It was a great scene, right? And all of a sudden, this black lady, a little bitty kid, walks across and, and you can see him going, "Mommy, why is he beating the other guy up?" It was funny. I mean, I really wish we could have kept it in the movie, but, but that's was <laughs> acting debut in uh, an indie movie. A cover movie. Yeah, there you go. That's a new slang. You it like is. that? I do. Remember first, right here. Redneck said it. Cover movie, right here. <laughs> okay. Awesome, awesome. Well, you got anything uh, coming up you want to plug before we let you out of here? Uh, of course, worldstrongestredneck.com. Yeah, worldstrongestredneck.com, stevemcgranahan.com. All my uh, regular Facebook is taken. Um, about like yours, right? Right. You know, right. Got that thing. Right. Yeah, it was like five thousand three hundred people on there, so yeah. you can't. But you can go to my fan page, which is uh, World's Strongest Red. Go to the one that's active. There's like a bunch of minions out there that tried one and left it alone, but I think it's in there. But I like I post stupid pictures and have just have fun, man. I mean, you got to have fun in life. You know, don't hurt nobody. Don't you know? Keep everything clean and cool. Excellent. Excellent. Hey, uh, parting words? Uh, did he get closer to me while I was filming this? Yeah. I'm feeling like a man crush going on or something. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, uh, I just, thanks for being, uh, thanks for letting me come down here. It was a nice little haul, but uh, met some great new people. Y'all dudes on the internet, hope to see at Comic-Con next year. I'm going to have a table there. So oh, you come by and say, hey, remember me? I was on TV with you. <laughs> you know, all that stuff. <laughs> and uh, I'll bend your nail. How's that? Bend your nail. Excellent. So, all right. Sounds, cool. sounds good. Awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, WS we'll, Redneck. WS Redneck At. on Twitter. Yep. Go check them out. Thanks a lot for making the haul down here well, and joining oh, us. Oh, thanks. Hope come down here again. When I get Mo famous. Exactly. Yeah. Mo exactly. Famous. Don't forget us. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't forget the, us, the little people. Basement dwellers with the lights <laughs> all too bright. Come down. It'll be a video game by the time you get down. <laughs> <laughs> Hear the children scream and the women lamentate. Oh, no. That's what? Conan. That's Conan. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, thanks a lot. And with right, that, bro. we're going to head in and check out what's going on in WMS Gold. And what else is going on in the world of wrestling? What's going on uh, going on in Cleveland? We'll be right back. Mayhem Show. Remember when. That hey, wasn't. I'm going to bend this ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> Look, watch, watch, watch. All right. Watching? All right. Are you watching? We can even... <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's a lie. Maybe you grew taller. <laughs> <laughs> did you hit puberty while you you didn't even know you? Did hit you just puberty? wake up? Probably. So. Did you did you just sleep through those both shows? You hosted one of them. I know. Amazing, isn't like, it? I'm sitting here. I'm I'm seriously playing with this bent nail. I'm like, I gotta be able to move it a little bit. No, I'm like I can't. Yeah. I can't be that weak of a person that I can't bend. Welcome back. This is a little segment that we uh, would like to call Remember When? Last night brought back memories of something so gross and disgusting, but yet it came back so beautiful. And what am I talking about? Mae Young and her son. The hand of Mark Henry. Sorg, what do you remember of that most disgusting but cute moment? I remember, like, thinking, like, how, what are they going to do with this? How can they, what, how, hey, what, hey, what, hey. what, hey, what? Remember that time that I sued you for harassment because you keep sending me touts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did that just happen? It, it's going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're talking about May, the May Young hand birth thing, and, and I just remember it. It was just, um, just a big question mark about what what are they going to do with this? Could they are they really going to have a birth on TV? Are they did they did they really buy a baby? In order to do an angle with this, <laughs> buy a they bought a baby and, 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 and kicked it in the ground. Whose idea was it to make it a hand? Hey, wait, model. how do you buy a baby? That's black well, market. You know, black market. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm pretty sure WWE isn't allowed to buy a baby on the black market. And this, and this, and this leads to a question. I mean, I WWE mean, can do whatever they want. Yeah, but they I'm pretty can. Sure, they can't buy a baby for live TV. I think they can. I don't. They I don't, don't have to report it. Uh, um, is, yeah. that, is that a tax write off? Um, no, I, I think, think you can keep is. that one off the books. Oh. So I, it, it was just one of those, Wait, those ideas. On. Oh, you're still on this? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you send like an office member to go buy the baby, or is this something that you make a jobber do? Like, do you bring in a jobber, you pay them 120 dollars, and you go make them buy a baby for you? It's Drew McIntyre. No, you send Pat Patterson out to do wait, it. Wait, wait. Is this something that someone that violates the drug policy gets? to do because that's their punishment that's they, where randy orton was last night they have to go they have to go out and uh, ask around in the back streets for a baby because <laughs> i mean they're violating the drug policy so they know where to get drugs so they randy just like they can't if somebody takes their child <laughs> there you oh, go oh zero says dude dude babies get delivered nowadays you just gotta call up a brother oh man so what like 1-800 buy a baby yep Exactly. I'm glad we solved this. We've solved this. The mystery of the mm -hmm. young hand. <laughs> no, we didn't. No. But anyway, no, with that, we're going to take it. buy a baby. This is... <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to buy a baby, but let's say I did want to buy a baby. Hypothetically, if you wanted to buy a baby. I, I mean, I, where's the number? I mean, do I just Google, how do I buy a baby? You email yeah, good time. I find an answer. <laughs> I want you guys to email goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com to, to, to <laughs> tell me how to buy a baby. Thank you. Yes. And with that, let's go to Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. Hey, everyone. Oh. It, it appears as if we had a little technical issues with the uh, Mad Mike Minute of Mayhem Madness movie video thingy. 
Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in. Um, what I got from the video that I could make out is that he was gonna do TNA and didn't, which is good because he would have gotten herpes. <sighs> that was uh. bad. Um, and then he went on to talk about how WrestleFan is an infant and how Chachi is the smartest one on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Wait, what? And and I heard that. I am his best friend of all time. What? I heard that. So, that's this week's Mad Mike's Minute of Movie Mayhem Madness on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you there, Chachi of InsertPointToBegin.com. What's that, Riz? I don't believe you. Hey, Riz, he also says that you're an ass hat. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> that, that's that's that actually correct. Believe. <laughs> with that, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry that didn't work out there uh, with my mic uh, thingy, thingy, thingy. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it sounded like he was having some audio issues. Yeah, um, yeah. It was really hard to make out, but I used Google's uh, translate service, <laughs> and uh, I, I used uh, I used Google's translate service, and that's how I got that that wonderful message from my friend Mad Mike. Excellent. Excellent. All right. With that, let's uh, let's let's do a little bit of discussion here. Um, bring it around. <laughs> wow. Uh, first, I, in the news, uh, some stuff that popped out just uh, today or yesterday. I was kind of surprised. Well, first, you know, there's been news about uh, Velvet Sky. She's, I think there's been rumblings for a little bit that she might be going away from TNA. Uh, apparently, her contract's up soon and doesn't look like they're going anywhere with it. Uh, but now it sounds as though uh, the Dudley Boys. Team 3D, whatever you want to call them, Devon and uh, Bully Ray may also uh, come back and make a tag division. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Uh, may also not be coming back uh, after their contracts over here at the. Uh, it looks like uh, yeah, they'll expire in about four to five weeks, and according to uh, uh, WrestleZone.com. Um, so I, I don't know. It, well, one I. I know we haven't been too big on, on the Team 3D in the past years, but I really would hate to see somebody like Bubba, Bubba Ray go. At this yeah, time. I mean, he's he's been doing some really good stuff lately in singles. I mean, he lost all that weight. I mean, and, and he's pushed himself really good, and the singles ranks almost kind of a little bit better than what he's done in the tag team ranks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and, and and you know, Devon's had his place. You know, I know he's not do, he's not doing as big a thing, but with the with the TV title and everything. But at least they're doing something. Chuck, are you like, trying you, to bend you, something again? I'm trying to unbend the nail. <laughs> <laughs> Still, Chuck has been working on this like ever since he left. <laughs> Oh, this is not working. So we're going to hear random grunting from Chachi as he works on this. Also, site. I received a tout in the time that I was carrying the show from John Fun. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. Sending, <laughs> sending myself, Russell fan, and Mad Mike touts because we don't like touts. Tremendous, tremendous. Nice. I'll be joining that cause. Uh, um, here, here's what I like about what I like most of all. TNA is doing something. They're pushing bu Bubba or Bully Ray, just like ECW did when he first came in. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, he didn't start with Devon. No, he didn't. He was he was the stuttering ass kicker Bubba Ray. Yeah. And he was mm -hmm. actually a pretty good singles wrestler then. Mm -hmm. Then he tagged up with Devon and then the stories wrote himself. Yeah. So kudos to both TNA and Bully who actually is probably the best uh, heel going on TNA right now. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Arguably. Um, but still it's it, if they if they leave, but I feel we we've, we've, we've talked about this like a year or two ago. Weren't they up for like uh, Chachi's? Chachi's reading the quarter of a phone book that he has. <laughs> Price, Price, Robert Call. W. Three <laughs> eight. No, no, no! Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Don't read a phone number on the air. I was going to read the address. Oh, that's not good either. It doesn't yeah, matter. Either. He's an attorney. This is his business phone number. Oh, then go ahead. Yes. Price. Free advertising. Robert W. 3810 Star Center Drive. 330-702-0780. Tell him the Mayhem Show sent you. <laughs> please, please do not. Please do not. For absolutely no... Uh, 
you get no you get no discount for that. No, no, uh, no. Please, please is this how we're getting sponsors now? <laughs> no. Don't don't tell them we sent you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Keep going. Okay. No, all right. But, keep going. I'm sorry. You're just doing no. stuff. All right. Yeah. Well, what are you saying? But we were talking about this a couple years. Well, these guys are always. Like, I mean, they're 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 up there, but it just seems like either last year or the year before we were saying, you know, that Bubba and Devon were ready to go anyways. Yeah. Yeah. But it they just keep going and, it, and they, like I think they the, successfully reinvented themselves too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, would, you had Devon coming in. With even his sons being part of the stuff. And, I mean, I would love to probably, I don't know how much training they've got from Devon and Bully Ray and stuff like that. But, I mean, that could have went somewhere if they did get the training. Mm -hmm. They could have had a lot more going. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it's interesting. I, it, yeah, maybe they're just cleaning house there in TNA. It is good because it really does seem like a lot of the younger guys are getting you know, stuff going on, or at least the mainstays are getting stuff going on, you know, and, and, uh, although I didn't see much X division this week, mm -hmm. I, as I recall. Hmm. Well, that's the thing. I, that's, it's kind of funny. You said that I was like thinking, okay, if they're leaving, then that means whoever is like in the back running things is seeing, okay, good. We got Austin Aries as the champion. We got Zima Ion as X division. Mm -hmm. We, have a lot of younger guys popping in now, and this company can keep going with your middle to longer stays like Daniels and AJ and all the rest that they can still go, but they're not going to push the younger guys down. Yeah, yeah. It just makes more room. Makes more room. You all right there, Chuck? Uh, oh, hold on. You've never read this much <laughs> phone book in your life, have you? No. <laughs> And you still only have a quarter of it. I know. I, know. I got a quarter well, of an entire other one here. This, this segment of the Mayhem Show is brought to you by Double S Construction, 16071 Heiser Road, 330-547-7722 for all your buildings, pool, and post frame needs. Tell them the May Mayhem Show sent yes. you. Tell, you. Tell them the Mayhem Show sent you for absolutely zero discount. There you go. There you go. Um, <laughs> you're, you're, you're allowed to prank call them. No, don't, don't, no, don't encourage no, that. No, don't officially no. encourage that. Don't, um, don't listen to the crazy. But if you man. do record and send it to us. Um, <laughs> good times. Good times. That wrestling mm -hmm. sure. No. So, <laughs> the thoughts on the whole AJ Daniels baby daddy stuff. It's horrible. Is it like really yeah. getting on everybody else's nerves like it is mine? Now it is. This much time into it, yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. it's just, okay. They could have finished it when they had that last man standing match. Yeah. I would have been happy right there when it ended. I tell you what, though, it is not the worst thing that I've ever seen from TNA. And True. if that's the thing I have to suffer through to see the rest of the good matches no, I, on Impact. No, I really hate it. I mean, that's fine. You know, I don't watch it live anyways. So, I'm going to skip, go do something else, whatever. Uh, so, you know, it's probably not what they want to hear, you know. But uh, but that's, that's it. I, I don't. I'm not bothered by it that much, you know. Right. It's not like it's giving birth to a hand. <laughs> so it, it could be a hand in the end, though. It could it's be very, a hand in the very end. Pointless, though. Yeah. Whoa, even a because first she was saved by AJ and Dixie. Then she was yeah. pregnant. Then it was AJ's baby. Then something else happened, and she turned heel. Oh yeah, the logic train is has completely went off the rails like a month ago. So it's yeah. just like, well, where are you going to end this one? Because holy shit, you need to, you know, like, uh, you know, and not that I'm as, as against it, but the, uh, the, the, the park, the Joseph Parks thing, that seems like it's gone way longer than it probably should have. Yeah. But I'm still being entertained by it. Yeah, that, that one I You're like. You're just like, kind of like, I mean, I don't know if this like the general wrestling fan is because we're just like waiting for the, hey, he's been the best the whole time. Hey, this is well, another uh, thing, you know. Yeah, uh, it's but it's especially like, like this past Thursday when he saw his blood and all of a sudden Bully Ray runs for me, goes for the black hole slam. The mm -hmm. fans didn't go, hey, wait a minute. Uh, you know, hey, Siri, uh, Ciro, uh, uh, I keep saying Siri, uh, says, anyone noticed that she was smoking during the interview in the car? I call no baby in the oven. Oh, man. Actually, that kind of makes sense, because I 
Sarah, I don't know if you noticed it. I kind of noticed it. I swear that baby bump got smaller. <laughs> Somebody mispacked it this week. So Yeah. Exactly. I, I don't know. Other than that, I think TNA has been great. I, I love what they, they're doing with Open Fight Night. That like, Aren't they going like the top down in the rankings? You get to call out somebody? Basically. Was that the explanation yeah. this week? I, I love that. I, I lo- love that they keep doing this. I don't know what they're doing with Aces and Eights, but... Um, well, I kind of had a theory on that. It, it hit me last night. I'm like, okay, Aces and Eights. These guys are masks. They're also a deck of cards. And how about a king and queen of the mountains running it? Okay. Oh, no. All right. All right. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 You no. were like calling for, please don't be lame enough that it's just the Jarrett's. No, right? No, no. Is that what we're ta- talking about? about? Johnny Ace. Please don't finish that sentence, Wait, Wheels. I'm sorry, but it, it, it hit bridge. me. I'm like, I'm sorry. Just like, wait a minute. <laughs> Who would run this group? And come on, Riz. You know yourself. A king and a queen, aces and eights. <laughs> hey, yeah, Wrestle fan says metaphor overload. No. <laughs> uh, which I agree with you. But, uh, but otherwise, no, I think TNA is doing fine. I, I, I like where they're going with a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm still watching it. Yeah, you know, they got don't, me. Don't, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. I didn't mean to hurt you, bro. Until the Jared sorry, thing pops man. up, then it's gonna be show over, probably. Yeah. You are turned into the tuned into the motherfucking wrestling mayhem show, oh. which is not brought to you by Jimmy John Sign Shop A, sixty four Union <laughs> Way North, three three zero six five two eight two seven eight. For all your wrestling sign needs. We can't get in trouble for this, can we? Can't we? I mean, they are public places. Jimmy John signs. Yeah. Uh, That's different. Not uh, the yummy sandwiches. Yes. I don't they, think but we, they can make you a sandwich. I don't yes. think I can get in trouble for Can they for make this? me a sandwich? If anything, it's free advertising and you can send them a bill. A sandwich sign, sign sandwich. There you go. Sign and sandwich. Sign, sign and sandwich. sandwich. Uh, sandwich. There's apparently a Twitter account for the Aces and Eights, says John Flung. Uh... <laughs> No. Yeah, there is. I'm, I'm curious now. I want to see. Uh, this can't oh. be a real one. No way they did this. <laughs> no way they did this. Um, yeah, they I, have Hardcore Justice coming up, I think, on the 12th. I think I saw. I was going to say, I think it's right after are, our show. Are there any hardcore matches on there yet? <laughs> By the way, I did notice that uh, the friend of the show, uh, Zima Ion, is uh, on the intro now. That was pretty cool. Maybe has been, but I just noticed this week. Sorry. Um, okay, let's bring it over to uh, WWE and uh, Raw 1000 last night. We, we talked a little bit about it at the top of the show. Uh, but if we can get past Choppy Choppy Pee Pee and... Uh, choppy Choppy Pee Pee! Yeah, you know, like, like Riz. And, and if we could uh, get past the, the hand. Um, and there was a lot more yeah, awesome pee-pee. stuff that happened. We had the DX reunion. We had the wedding. Kinda. No, I think it was the important parts of the DX reunion. Oh, China. Yeah, we didn't I need know. No China. We had the guys. That's fine. It was all the guys yeah. that were involved in it, except for Hornswoggle. And totally. thank God, Hornswoggle so, was there though. So yeah, I know, I know. But you no, know, that was fine. It was fun. Uh, the wedding segment turned out to be interesting. Uh, even Wait, hold on. Uh, Shane says worst storyline ever. Which one? Which one? <laughs> Aces and Ace yeah, probably. I was say, which one? <laughs> <laughs> where where do we start? Where do we start? Um, but there was a lot of fun. It was like, and yeah, great. Uh, you know, I really hope you didn't go into it for uh, really good matches on the Raw One Thousand. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it was a lot of a lot of was, hits there. I mean, they, was, they, if they do this for three hours mm-hmm. all the time, mm-hmm. it's all just references good. to twelve years ago. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's a little <laughs> much. Nostalgia. That's a little much. I, I, I can't. So how how are you going to fill up three hours every week? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so Shane says he was hoping for an S.O. Rios return. S.A. Rios? Yeah. S.A. <laughs> Rios, yeah. Well, yeah, like I said, I thought, you know, hey, he kind of looked, yeah. like, looked like S.A. Rios. Well, so. it, it, my whole thing is Ow. they're not going to be able to keep this up. No. There's no, no way. I can't. I, you I, know, I made my prediction last night of what's going to happen going on. The problem on. is, you know, we've had bad two-hour Raws. Now when you have a bad Raw... It's going to be even worse and yeah, unbearable. Yeah, worse. This is this is a, a what 
WWE is doing now is they're taking up time that they usually charge 60 bucks for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're taking up time that is almost a live sports game. Yeah. It's free entertainment. <laughs> you for free! Unless you pay for cable. I pay for cable. Uh, which was most of the cases. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if exactly. You're, if you're watching Raw for free, you're watching it <laughs> illegally. I mean, what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to add uh, 10 minutes to promos, mm-hmm. and they're going to give the already booked matches more time that they don't need. Well, maybe, they, maybe they'll be better because they have more time to work with. We, we don't know. And touts. And touts. More touts. More touts, touts Chach. It's going to be it's going to be promo. Opening promo, half hour. I don't think they're doing that every week. Next segment, next segment is going to be a half hour of touts. Uh-huh. Then they're going to do their <laughs> normal first hour of wrestling. And then, then they're going to do gonna, no, on show. No, then they're going to do 15 minutes of recapping the first two hours into a women's match for 35 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> then Hornswoggle is going to crawl out of the ring, throw water Naked. at JR. And then they're going to do a 20-minute uh, promo leading up to the 10-minute main event. So you're which looking will overrun. At, yeah, which will overrun <laughs> the 11 o'clock mark. Three hours, and they still can't get enough time for that 11.05 cutoff. So you're going to get... You're gonna get an hour and twenty five minutes of wrestling, and the rest is gonna be filled with touting and promos. I say, WrestleFan uh, has a few comments in here. He's uh, it's now it's now a here. variety show more than it is a wrestling show. What, have you been watching <laughs> Raw the last uh, ten years? They had a wedding last night, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> right, by the oh, way, that storyline that storyline paid off well. Yeah. It did, yeah. I, I, I think it, it, yeah. I, I think it I think ending with AJ. Yeah, I think it ending with AJ uh, as GM worked out well. Because she's manipulating huh. the shit out of everybody, so she's taking control, yep. and now she has control. Yep. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yes. Crazy Which is going to be charge. really interesting with the whole Daniel Bryan heel, Punk now heel. No, uh, we, we don't know. We don't no. know if he's a heel or not yet. What has he done that was He healing? attacked the main face. And The Rock, when The Rock was here last time, he was kind of the heel. He attacked the top two faces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That and, makes him a heel. But Big Didn't Show attacked John him. Cena. He's not... He, Big he Show's a heel! Really, he's not yeah, really Big a Show's heel. heel. Kane attacked John Cena. He was he's a heel. He's not really a heel. Oh Was. my god. Wrestle fans, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even talking. I know. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what? Yeah, actually, I can't. I was going to say I'll turn off the chat room, but I am enjoying the stuff that Shane and John Fun are sending and Zero. <laughs> so I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep them. Wrestle fan in timeout. Wrestle fan gets in a timeout. <laughs> Wait, can we, can we do that? How is, how is Big Show not oh a God, heel? Yes, we can. <laughs> well, well, well that, that was the debate we were having, too, about him not being a heel, because nothing he did is really something that's a heel thing. Yeah. Okay, when you go against the crowd, mm-hmm. you are a heel. Okay, hold well, on a second. What if the crowd is... No, 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 not necessarily, because if you look at, I look at uh, anything with uh, Punk and... Punk in uh, Cena last year. It depended where you were. You look at anything with uh, uh, Bret Hart and the whole Canada thing. It depended on which country they were in. Now uh, I, I want to. I want to. Since he's not here, he did. He did have a comment uh, directly after Raw about the uh, the Punk situation. So let's uh, let's have DJ Lunchbox sh- uh, uh, chime in on the situation Touted. here. It's a tout. He's not a heel Fuck yet. That. Fuck that CM Punk turn on the WWE Universe. Just because he attacked The Rock doesn't mean he's a heel. Fuck that, and fuck you, Michael Cole. Sorg knows what I'm talking about. He's very upset. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was that, too. Was um, oh, shit. Well, even though I didn't have a match. Okay, sorry about that. Zack Ryder okay. chimed in. Is that Zack Ryder? So, okay, what are your thoughts on, on that, on, on LB's uh, view on things? Will I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I mean, honestly, I love Punk either way. He He's not heel or face to me. He is just 
CM Punk. Whoa, whoa, what is this wrestle fan? Good heels shouldn't be justified. The good heels are the ones what? that the, no, the good the good heels are the ones that believe what they're doing is right. Punk's gonna come out the next week, have a reason for what he did, for not helping Cena, for still going for the pin when Big Show came out. And he cause he he's amongst anybody, is the one that believes his own bullshit, uh, whenever he was a heel. And it was always like one of the great guys behind, you know, with the stuff like that. That's why we loved hating him. Yep. Really. And, and if he's not going to do something like that, he really is going to come out and spew a line like that. That's going to be. <laughs> I'm the champion. Okay, I'm I had still to, behind it. Yeah, I had to keep my championship, so I let Big Show beat the shit out of Cena, and I, then I took the pin. And I really think something like CM Punk's going to be even smarter than that. Right, and it's it's mm -hmm. still a heel turn. Mm -hmm. That. It, and Good heels That's not there. necessarily a heel turn. And again, it's going to depend on where there is. Pu I think Punk, it is a heel I turn. Think, I think he did the wrong thing, and he's going to justify his reasoning for doing the wrong thing. Okay. okay. Why if, did he if, if he was the rock? If he was staying face, then he would have helped Cena, despite being the champion. Mm -hmm. He did not. He he took the pin. All right, we did you notice he, he took a while to go for that pin? He he kept like battling back and forth with himself. Like, should I take it? And I mean, and he went out of the ring to get the referee, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it still took him a while to go over and pin Cena. And it basically goes down to what is the explanation, and, and we'll see that next week. So, uh, now, does it make him a heel also that he closed on? The rock into turning into a fish? No. <laughs> no, and I don't think it does, because, I mean, there's the uh, the ongoing, like, there was the challenge. The challenge was laid out because the, because of the Royal Rumble stipulation that the rock will face whoever the champion is at Royal Rumble. So that is a challenge. Okay, now you're the guy I got to take on, you know. But was anybody the heel out of Rock and John Cena out of the whole deal? Like, technically? Not really? really? No. Can we say I mean, everybody has a side, one or the other. It really was the the perfect face versus face thing. Both of yeah. them kind of went away one I way or the other. I'm gonna say that we're gonna see a, a, a definite Cena heel turn, or not Cena Punk heel turn, in the opening segment of Raw Monday. Okay, all right. We'll see how that turns yeah. out Monday. Was that now, how many of us really sat there? And I mean. I laughed hysterically. I'm like, why is the rock turned into a fish from a clothesline? I mean, he was gasping like a fish with his lips done. That's his turtle mode. It was a metaphor. Mm. <laughs> the movie star was out of his, his environment. He was out of his fishbowl. <laughs> fish out of water. <laughs> it was. Oh. It was funny as hell. I'm like, wow, did that really just happen? <laughs> <laughs> Overacting. Overactor. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's how he got... So, um, another thing from our last night, we saw a, kind of the first leg of what they're going to do with social media. Of course, the, the touts we talked about, they had a lot of uh, interactions with Twitter. Say, hey, tag this, you know, AJ, do or don't. Um, hashtag the word, Rock Collie. Hashtag, you know, who do you want to rock? The, you know, rock Collie. <laughs> rock Collie. Yeah. But this is such... Uh, stuff like that. Okay, there was the part where they were like, who would you like to see Rock face? It was at Royal Rumble, right? And they had... They had Rock Cena, Rock uh, Punk, and a hashtag Rock Show, which Should was weird because there was nothing about Show at that point, right? Um, and, and and yeah, that is a great opportunity to see some. Wouldn't it be great if something like that happened and something like hashtag Rock Kali ended up trending on Twitter? <laughs> You know, I, of course, they'll never acknowledge they it, but that, yeah. that's for us. You know, that is for us. Uh, there's that, of course, uh, you know, the social media ambassador, uh, Charlie Sheen, uh, got lost his that Twitter account two, two, two weeks before this. Um, so they had him on Skype, which, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see how you guys look tonight. No, you it look was... too good. Uh, I, look, I look better than Charlie Sheen right now. Maybe. Uh, no, yeah, that, that what we're seeing out of uh, Wheels right now, that's about the Charlie... No, it's still better than Charlie Sheen uh, Skype mm. feed. Yeah. <laughs> the Charlie Sheen Skype feed was something um, that... I don't, I don't even compare it to anything. It, 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 looked like, it looked like crap. But it, it wasn't entertaining at all, was it? 
No. No, no. 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 And setting up, oh, God, they're going to do something at SummerSlam. It felt like... Yeah. It, it felt like, because after they got out of that, it's like Cole had to fill in the blanks on what just happened. Oh, and he's completely going to be at SummerSlam. Mm. Which is mm. also in Los Angeles, where he said if he came to Los Angeles, that's where he'll be. Isn't this a coincidence? <laughs> I still... I s- I still think he hired somebody to watch it for him <laughs> and just like fill him in. Like this I, happened, I this happened, this so. happened. And Charlie Sheen's like, okay, I, I, I really like that Seamus guy. He's uh, he's really white and <laughs> shark like. He's really <laughs> white. What was that, Riz? <laughs> but yeah, but it, uh, yeah. But <laughs> that whole, those two, those three whole segments were the worst part of the show. Because every time he looked over, he, they came back to him. Mm-hmm. He looked more into his coke than ever. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was waiting for him to have the white powder on his nose and just be looking around weird. <laughs> like they come back. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, oh. how you doing? <laughs> oh, I was hello. just erasing my chalkboard. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You chalk for that was good. I was eating a powdered donut. <laughs> but aside from that, you know, okay, so this was your first view at this. I really thought, honestly, I thought there'd be more social media. I really did think there'd be more social media on this. I think it would have been if Charlie Sheen had not <laughs> Twitter. Yeah, if he, so, he had not deleted his Twitter. So what do we yeah. think? What do we think so far about the new interactive RAW? Uh, are we annoyed by it? Are we interested by it? Like it's, to me, to me, I, uh, unfortunately, I know this isn't the intention. To me, this alternative stuff, like the uh, Rock Kali, like the AJ. I think I saw an AJ. I do them both. Uh, that came from. I think that was from Mayhem Missy. Um, I think I saw an AJ Mooney. <laughs> think that was exactly there somewhere. like i feel like the conversation out that 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 reaches out beyond where wwe intends it is going to be the story is at least for us you know it's going to be like wow they're doing this thing and, and your general fans are going to get behind that and they're going to get whatever interaction but the rest of us that are kind of have that different sense of humor and Really, the the few of us that more were entertained by the hand growing up of all <laughs> things last night are the ones that are going to get even more out of this social media thing because yeah. there's going to be there's going to be this underculture on top of what WWE is trying to present on television. It's going to suck for the moderators, but other than that, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to entertain the hell out of us. How and, long and- before we see a drunk guy on tout? I think wrestling. it's been. I think that's already happened. I mean, how, how long before it's on air? Look at some of the replies on 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 just the WWE.com because they posted like the Zack Ryder. Hey, what do you think of Raw <laughs> thing? And you can reply to it right there. And I don't know if they're moderating those ones quite as closely. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do we moderate anything the, on the, here? No, no, not really. No. Not really. No. We still. Big freaky the, voicemail. The social media hasn't gotten annoying yet, though. No, no, and, and I think they're using it. I, I think uh, you know you're looking at that compared to when they did social media month and they did Twitter on the pay per view uh, for for TNA when they're doing the big push a few months ago. And it really like it felt like Twitter, 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 Twitter. Like I don't even say they said. I don't even think they said tout as much <laughs> in Raw as they said Twitter on the pay per view that we watched. Twi- I, the reason why they did that was because Twitter is the thing that everybody knows and that's the big social media juggernaut but tout is just you know starting and starting to pick up and that's so true. they have to you know feed the masses mm-hmm. but only you know give a little bit of segments to the other guys exactly right. and exactly. once that next. builds up and evens out a little bit yeah, yeah. that's when they're going to have more touts yeah that's Paper true view. that's true you think they're going to be well, it'll be, yeah, it'll be interesting what they do on pay-per-view, you know? It, the it, next... It, oh, is it good. going to be the point where you get touted on a pay-per-view? Now you're going to be on the DVD? Ooh. The next... And it'll the be next a little one. bit more open on a pay-per-view because it's less, like, they have to hold back. Well, What's but they TV, still they still will. you got to hold back the... Crazy. I don't think I don't think it's like you're gonna be like that was fucking awesome. Oh my god! And you got on the pay per view. You know I don't think that's gonna happen. They're still no, no, no. they're still that, technically TV PG. You know, less tame. 
Yeah, yeah. But it's still going to be whatever. Like, the tout will be, like like WrestleFans, you know, saying that it's just guys saying, that was awesome, you know? And, and I think that's where, you know, like I talked about with the Mayhem things, we still got these DVDs. If you get Mayhem stuff on that, or I, I, I might even send you something. I'll at least send you stickers if I see you on the, uh, on the website. Um, but it really, I, I think there's a lot of room for people that are being a little more creative. You know what I mean? Some of the responses, yeah. like some of them are a little more creative and, and they're entertaining and they're few and far between. But, and yeah, you're going to have the general person like, that was awesome, blah, blah, blah. I got nothing else to say about it. Even some of the wrestlers, like like some of the some of the stuff like I see from Chris Jericho and say, hey, Raw was tonight and a lot of stuff happened and blah, blah, blah. It sounds like you know, like he's still feeling out what the hell he used to type touts. I want to I wanna know how many touts Zack Ryder has made. Oh my god! That was just of him saying "woo woo woo." You know it, <laughs> and that's all he needs to do, and that's, that's all people expect. And then people and people will like every one of them, and they'll respond, and you'll have a lot of "woo woo woos." You know, and he'll get three hundred replies, and and that's him doing good, and that that's a lot of uh, you know tout equity, I guess, for that stuff. Um, that seems to be having pretty. a ton of fun with doubt, uh, with tout and stuff. Who's that? I mean, he gets all excited and promotes a show that. A house show or something, right then and there, and I missed. Who'd he, you say? He, he has a blast. Who's that? Who? Who were you saying? Uh, Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, yeah, he's doing good stuff. Uh, the Derek Bateman and Caitlin stuff is entertaining as hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, th- there, there's he edited a video and tabbed it uh, of him, like Derek Bateman meeting Tout Man and talking to himself. That that was funny. And there was the stuff of, like Caitlin, like just like. Sneak like hiding in a in a uh, uh, locker and running away. Uh, Bateman getting out of a trunk and running away. Like I, I realized today, I think they're reenacting some stuff from Buzzkill that used to be on MTV. <laughs> you know, you guys remember that show? Yeah. Like like it feels like they're 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 like re- like like have a little bit of that going on, and that's the entertaining stuff that's going on. I guess anyway, she- like we had this I, I had this idea that we were talking about the other night where I really think. That those great promos that we loved from NXT from all these guys are now on top. What's NXT? <laughs> I don't know what NXT Chris, is. Christian I'm, was sorry. way too far away from his camera. Next? <laughs> what? <laughs> he was. You know, like way out here, and he's like, "Hi, I'm Christian." It was like really, like the audio was really bad. And that's bad. the other thing. It's the other thing. Who are the real touters? Who are holding the phone like this, and you see their arm and everything like that? Bruce Clay, even though he does a lot while he's driving, um, you know, is really into this kind of stuff. Versus, don't tell I don't. I haven't seen John Cena hold his own phone once. Yeah. Oh, he was too true. busy holding 483 pounds on Okay, his that's, back. that's, okay, his deadlifts <laughs> that he's showing off. Okay, Just we watch. get it. You're fucking They're, strong. I want I, you to get in, in a deadlifting competition on tout with the world's strongest redneck. Let's do this. Let's do yeah. this, man. There was that oh, one yeah. where he was playing that game and touting and holding his phone, I think. I had seen I that one. <laughs> no clue what that one was about. <laughs> and and, and it, I'm going to say, it's new. A lot of these guys, I think a lot of these guys, you're going to see a lot more creative stuff go out, out from these guys. William Regal has been entertaining. Like, he's just, like, holding a lizard in some place saying, I should be the new bloody J- GM. Or he's doing a neck bridge talking about how he should be the new GM. <laughs> can you know? the new GM do this? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I think AJ can do that, by the way. <laughs> There's like, oh, yeah. she wins. She wins. <laughs> I mean, she even had... He even, did, I, did I mention she's adorable? <laughs> the most <laughs> adorable GM ever. All right, anything and, else? And she she's so cute! Oh. Underneath their wedding two, dress. two things. The next pay-per-view after SummerSlam will be Cyber Sunday. What? Really? Uh, no. What? <laughs> I'm just saying because oh, all wow. the social media. That's what we've done in there. Uh, um, and Raw actually got a 3.8 average cable rating last night. Three point eight. Which is pretty good. Yeah, that, that's three point eight four. That's higher than they have been. And, and yeah. we saw a lot of twitters of, of people that don't normally watch Raw pop in. Yeah. So there, there was a lot of that happening. We, and they got them with a lot of that throwback stuff. I think. <laughs> yep. That's it's tremendous. I'm sorry, uh, Wheels. What were you saying? Oh no, I was just saying. Honestly, bringing cyber, bring back Cyber Sunday would probably be a good idea now, mm. especially with Tout. Yeah, they would have yeah. a time with it. <laughs> Just don't bring back Snitsky and Taboo Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that was really the early experiments with something like this. And um, and it's great now. Now they have other platforms. They don't need to build it into the site themselves. Hey Sorg. Hey. Hey Sorg. Hey. 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 What'd you learn in wrestling this week? What I learned in wrestling tonight? Yeah. This week? Yeah. Tonight? 
this week. This no, week. what did you learn tonight? I, I, you know, I learned something. I, I don't think I talked about this on the show. I think this is since. Um, I have a big problem with indie promos, uh, where a lot of them go far, far, far too long to hold anybody's interest. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of people agree with me on this. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, I agree. like you know, you see, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's IWC, RWA, other groups. Uh, it's like really a five minute thing about this is too long. I, I, I feel, I feel a lot of times it's just long and it's true. In the two, you want enough that it's going to get your attention exactly. and get that story across, and then done. Put so I throw this challenge. Damn music. So I throw this challenge to aspiring, you know, indie wrestlers, anything like that that may <coughs> potentially, God, I don't know why you do listen to the show. I want to see indie wrestlers take on talent. I think it's a challenge to make your point, bum, 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 tout it out. You know, those are embeddable. If you you're in with your guys, like I know, I know, I know wheels, you get your videos. They get embedded on rwbalive.com, iwcwrestling.com. All these other guys, uh, I think ACW post stuff like that too. I uh, actually do their whole other thing. But I think, I think, you know, just like we're seeing a lot of creativity by the undercard, especially the undercard uh, with uh, uh, WWE, I think it'd be a good challenge to have those nice quick promos. Um, I, I just want to see somebody do it, and I want to see the results of it. I, I think it'd be entertainment's a good platform. That's a that's a great idea. Yeah. So, uh, well, right, we're gonna get to chat. Or we're gonna get the rest of the guys in chat room. Tell us what you learned in wrestling this week, and we will come back around to you. Wheels. Yes. What'd you learn in wrestling this week, brother? What did I learn? I learned that even twelve years later, May Young still looks young and vibrant, and her hand grew up to be a handsome young man. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. Wait, what? Did I break you again, Chachi? I no. mean, Riz. Yes. Eva is old. And I have done my job. Wait, lady Riz! G. She's old and cobwebby. <laughs> Riz. She, had, she looks good in those old lady white, or white, old white lady jeans. Riz, what'd you learn in wrestling this week? Uh, I learned actually from something from Lunchbox. Even though he's not here, uh, he's here with spirit. But um, he, he once said, yes, he, yesterday he said that The Undertaker ate Chuck Liddell. <laughs> so I learned that The Undertaker is Kirby and inherited Chuck Liddell's powers after sucking him in whole. What the fuck? Whoa. Because <laughs> he had Whoa. the mohawk and, you know. The, kicks some ass. Uh, Bobby, uh, what did you learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> it was actually a Chuck Liddell ooze combo because he is now Super Shredder. That's what I learned. The Undertaker is now Super Shredder. And I also learned that if a shark were a human being, that shark would be Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar looks like what a shark would look like if it were a human. <laughs> huh. Chachi, right. what did you learn from wrestling we'll, this week? We'll come back to What me. the fuck? Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, Ciro learned that I am that Chachi is a weak man. True. Uh, I also learned that Heath Slater's payoff was getting pinned by boobs. I mean, uh, Lita. Russell mm-hmm. fan learned that there's win. nothing more scary than having a cinder block thrown towards your direction and have it break against the ring post. Uh, Russell fan was scared. I want pictures. <laughs> Himself. <laughs> yeah, he probably I did. I, himself. Himself. I, want, I want a picture. Of this. I learned that, uh, or Shane learned that his super kick is stiff. This is from the uh, GIF earlier, uh, Shane. Uh, John Fun learned that Shane Storm can kick a head off someone and send someone to the hospital. Both wow! Those. There Both you go. Wow! I don't, I don't want to be kicked in the Chachi. head by that guy. Yeah, buddy. We'll get him on the couch next year, next week. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> well, I know that's fine. There's not enough room to super kick me in here. <laughs> he can't get his. He can't get a stiff kick in. So I'm good. All right. Um, I also learned that I am a weak, weak man. I can't. I next can't. That guy. Anybody's weak. I I can't. Uh, I can't bend anything. Um, <laughs> Unless I, it's already I, bendy. I learned that. Uh, I, he can't even bend a bendy straw. I learned that raw uh, that uh, when it matters, uh, WWE knows what we want to see. Okay, I, I think they hit a lot of the major points last Chuck night that that we wanted to see. Um, and then the final thing that I learned 
is that wrestler fan needs a life. Yeah. Why? <laughs> he does nothing but watch wrestling. Okay. And argue about it and yell yeah. about it. Yes. It's his namesake. And I, you just need a life, buddy. I mean, pick up a controller, play some video games, take a break. Get a life, play some I video games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take Come a break. On. Join us. Join us. Yeah, Give take, me a break. Take a break. There you go. Break me off there the piece kick that bar. All right, guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. This was episode 330. Thank you all for joining us. Thanks again, worldstrongestredneck.com. If you want to check out our guest for tonight, thanks for to him for joining us. Uh, we're at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can check us out on Fuck iTunes, Blip TV, the Roku box on the Blip TV app, or on Stitcher and many other fine outlets. Just go to wrestling. Just just search Wrestling Mayhem Show. Dude, you'll we're find us. somewhere. Uh, you we're go ahead and drop everywhere. us a line for comments, too. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412-206-WMS-09670. Uh, please drop us a line on Twitter, at Mayhem Show, on Facebook, on Google+. Plus. You can tout us as well. You tout can us just to piss off make, Mad Mike. There you go. Make sure to at least hashtag us, uh, hashtag WMS if you're on tout. Or for any other comments and questions relating to this show, please Great. hashtag WMS, and the number is uh, 330. Uh, WMS 330, and uh, that makes it easy for us to find you uh, and and make sure it goes with this show and make sure everything is clear. You also, hey, please buy the app if you want to support us. WMS Gold, Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold on your Amazon App Store for Android or iOS App Store for those devices. Uh, just a dollar ninety nine. All of the bells and whistles right there. I'm Sorg Sorgatron.com for Chachi Wheels Riz Bobby FJ Town and all the guys here in spirit. Uh, Mike LB and the Wrestle Fan. Thanks, chat room. You've been hopping all night. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys next week. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.